Hello. <laughs> Hello. Today, we're going to talk about the KKK and the guy who took them down, Superman. In the southern United States in the 1940s, there was a pervasive sense of racism. Groups like the Ku Klux Klan began to gain prominence. And they were doing really horrific stuff. Stetson Kennedy, he's just a regular Southern guy who's working as a door-to-door -door salesman in Georgia. And he thinks to himself, how can one guy make a difference? Stetson Kennedy made the decision, I am going to infiltrate the Ku Klux Klan, learn their secrets, and expose them. So he goes to a bar that he knew was populated with Klansmen. And this guy walks up to him. And he says, hey, how you doing? I'm Slim. And Stetson Kennedy, he's playing coy at this time. He's like, oh, hi. You know, and they chat at the bar. And then eventually, it comes around to talk of the KKK. And Slim says, well, you know, I'm a member of the Ku Klux Klan. And Stetson's like, oh, really? And the guy says, yeah. If you're like-minded, then we might have a place for you in our organization. And so Stetson Kennedy's like, all right, I'm going to go do this. They pick him up one night. They drag him out to his final swearing-in ceremony. So the Klan was all like, the Klan's all like, ooh, this is all super secret. And if you do this, then you hold your hand up like this. And then you put your hand over your heart. And then you hold your hand out like this. And then you wave twice. And then you say, I believe in the tenets of the Klan. He becomes a full-fledged member of the Klan. Stetson Kennedy discovered the childish, dumb shit that these guys would do. They were dumb secrets. Like, we're meeting at the Clavern at midnight. It was secrets that little kids would have if they had a fort. There was like, no girls allowed in the Clonclave. Like, the Clonclave, this is the Clonclave. And can we do the handshake? Do you want to do the handshake? When, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is, this is the handshake of the Ku Klux Klan. It's a left-handed, limp-wristed. Limp, okay. Limp-wristed, like this. Then we both know we hate. We both know we hate black people. So, I'm gonna lay on the floor, but I'm gonna be focused, I promise. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I lay right here? Stetson Kennedy, he's walking down the street one day and sees a couple of kids playing spy. And he thinks, oh my God, these spy games that these little kids are playing look remarkably similar to the way that the Ku Klux Klan actually deals with life and the world around them. Stetson Kennedy found the people that were in charge of the Superman radio show. And he said, I know the secrets of the Ku Klux Klan. What do you guys think about a series of episodes where Superman takes down the Klan? I'm your guy. And the people at Superman said, sure. Hey, this is, this is uh, cantaloupe. You want to put that in your mouth? Uh -huh. or... Why is it in my mouth? That was cantaloupe. I like cantaloupe. OK. This is pineapple. Do you like pineapple? I like pineapple. For 10 episodes of the Superman radio show, Superman fought the KKK. Up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane. No, it's Superman. Superman battling valiantly against the clan of the Fiery Cross. Jimmy Olsen protected by the power of Superman and his mighty might. I don't know. <laughs> Careful, Jimmy, don't touch that Fiery Cross. Ah, oh, shucks. Mr. Ken, whatever you say. There was no YouTube, there was no podcasts. Everybody listened to the radio. As this was happening, Stetson Kennedy would call them and say, here are the new passwords that the KKK are using this week. The code word was Anglo, the password was American. 
the next week on the Superman show, Superman would show up and say, Anglo. And one of the bad guys would respond with, American. The kids of the Klansmen were playing Superman against the KKK. Following the broadcast of the Superman episodes, one of the heads of the Clavern said to the leader, Sir, I cannot in good conscience continue as a member of this Clavern when my own children are poking fun at the Clan of the Fiery Cross. Bless you. Thank you. <coughs> when Stetson Kennedy had taken the secrets of the KKK and made them public knowledge. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Thanks to Stetson Kennedy, the Klan was defeated. Nobody wanted to join. Stetson Kennedy made damn sure the shit that the Klan was pulling was viewed by the people of the United States as worthy of ridicule and, in so many words, being stupid. <laughs>